Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while since I last recorded and a video for you guys but for the title as you can see I have a huge makeup haul if you guys would like to see what I got then just keep on watching so I put all of my stuff in this huge MAC um, bag but as for the first one I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out from here um, I got the Patrick, Patrick Star and MAC um, little collection I mainly got this because of the bronzer. It seems like it would have been a good shade for my face. And since I am in a hunt for a good bronzer, I decided to just pick this up. It's a good, it's a nice, um, like bronzy shade. I haven't swatched it, but I'll go ahead and swatch it. I don't know if you can, if my camera doesn't want to pick it up, but it seems like it would be a good shade for me it looks like the hula bronzer but a little bit darker so i'll go ahead and try that out and let you guys know how i like it um for the next as for the set it comes with also the four um four shades of an eyeshadow and i think i mean these are pretty neutral but i feel like as for an easy everyday look these would be something you would want to use all the time other other stuff that came with it came also with two lip glosses I've been into lip glosses lately I would want to be using on the daily so let me swatch these for you guys they're very pretty and pigmented I think I like there's some swatches right there the first one is cream pie and the other one is fashion punch i think i'm into cream pie a lot more just because it's a little bit more pinky but they look like any basic dudes my next one i got um the laura mercier setting powder this is kind of just a, a setting powder that i want to be taking like for work or for school or for any situation on the go i got the miniature size just because i love love and live for the laura mercier setting powder i got um the Ole Henriksen um, Cold Plunge Pore Mask. I've been using this like twice already and I am obsessed with it. it. I really feel like it really digs out into your pores and gets everything, all the nasty stuff. So I really suggest you guys picking this up. I know you guys have probably seen this all over Instagram and YouTube, but definitely pick it up. From Ulta is the Dream Street with Kathleen Lines. I wasn't gonna pick this up because I have so many eyeshadow palettes but literally the colors are so pretty that I didn't want to pass up on it and, and I also want to support Kathleen Lines just because I, I really do like her and it was $16 so I don't think it was a bad it was a bad price for how pigmented these eyeshadows look. So I also picked up the Kathleen Lights um, lip bundle with ColourPop as it goes hand in hand with the Dream Street. And I know I have a lot of lip products, but like I was saying, these are like $16 for three of them. So I didn't want to pass these up. And they look like this one is totally calling, calling my name for summer. So I want, I definitely wanted to pick these lip products up. And it comes with a glossy lip, an ultra satin lipstick, and a matte liquid lipstick. Next two products, I got these two eyelashes. This one is a restock because I these are my favorite eyeshadow eyelashes for drugstore. Like seriously, if I can die in any eyelashes, they have to be in this one. Um, they are the Platinum Pr Princess with vegas nay i love her collection with eyelashes but these are my number one favorite um i had a pair but then they ripped out ripped up on me because of how many uses i would use it for and then i also picked up um the eyeliner with jasmine brown these are called jb and if you've you guys have seen the coco lashes uh, goddess they, i feel like these would be dupes for it i mean they are around the same price but since these are in my ulta drugstore I mean the Ulta, my Ulta, I can just pick these up and not have to be ordering them from uh, online. Another lip 
product I got from ColourPop. This is the Wicked Trick, the Tight Fit Echo Park and Top 8. There is a glossy lip. Tight Fit is a glossy lip. Echo Park is a satin lip. And Top 8 is an ultra matte lipstick. I know this is like so basic. It's neutrals. But again, I just love, I'm a sucker for lipsticks. Like, I have to have every lip color out there. And especially nudes, like, you can never have enough nudes, right? I also picked up three MAC lip liners. Um, MAC lip liners are my number one lip liner. They are definitely some lip liners I can always live for. Um, I picked up Soar, which this is a restock because my Soar lip liner is so tiny. This is my Soar right now, how tiny it is because I use it like every day. Every time I do my lip products, I use that one. So I decided to just pick up a restock because I can carry this around or just leave it in my vanity and then I can carry Soar with me everywhere. Um, I picked up Cork, which is a... Um, dark lip liner which I think would be perfect to just blend in with like a um, like a lighter lipstick and then this as a lip liner and just blend it in I think that would be such a pretty nude for on um, every time you want to go out or anything and then I also got dervish this is a lip liner is so pretty as well it's a basic nude of course but I just decided to up. kind of like sore let me switch swatch both of them and i will let you guys know how they look hand in hand so sore and dervish are very very similar i didn't realize it <laughs> but you can never have enough the top one right here is sore and the bottom one is dervish which Dervish looks a little bit more darker. I also picked up this um, Rose de Oro uh, Milani blush. I love Milani blushes. I mean, I only have Luminoso, but that blush is my go-to every day. Like I have to use it, and you don't. I feel like you don't even need to throw on a lot of highlight because that really kind of gives you a little flush tone. So. That's my number one. And then this one, it seemed like a little bronzy. Like, I also picked up on Mac, Macy's Mac. Um, they were having like the goodbyes, like 50% off the look of lipsticks for Mac. So I picked up two. I didn't realize that they were so similar. And I kind of feel like returning one of them. <laughs> but for half off, I was like, whatever. I mean, I'm going to use them anyways. But this is... X Espresso, as you can see, it's a very gray, gray toned um, look of lipstick, but it looks more like an actual espresso, you know, like chocolate purple. This one is like that gray color with some hint of purple, which I think, I mean, these would be perfect for fall. I know I shouldn't have bought them now, but since they were half off and they weren't going to re restock on them, I just decided to pick these up. Also, um, 1993 from Urban Decay, they were having, I can't remember if they were just getting rid of these. I got it a while back, but I did decide to pick it up because it is a lip gloss. Like I said, it's very, um, I've been, been too into like glossy lip satin colors. So this is the color right there. This is 1993. And it's a very pretty nude, nude, of course. So I decided to just snag that up as well. Along with um, Dose of Colors, I did make an order back in May when they were having their um, five year anniversary. And they were having the, um, when they launched the Dose of Colors eyeshadows. And they were giving out the two lip products um Anna's favorite lip products for the five year anniversary so I decided to snag that up as well I haven't used this I haven't been doing makeup a lot 
So I decided to throw it into this haul. I got the shade Tell Me More for the Urban, I mean the Dose of Colors eyeshadow. This is seriously calling my name for summer. Like, isn't this so pretty? I know you guys have seen this all over social media, but I can't wait to use this product. I know I should have used it today, but it's so silky and buttery. Look at that. Oh my lord. I can't wait to use this. So I decided to snug up. Tell me more. And I do want to recreate. Um, I don't know if you guys know. I'm pretty sure you guys know. But I love Sarai. She used this with the Marvelous Mauves with Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. That was a beautiful look. I definitely want to recreate it for my next look. And also I got Angelic. I'm sure everybody that placed an order on that day or on that weekend got all of these. But I've never tried the Dose of Colors um, lip. Uh, bullets like this so I thought it was neat I mean this one is a little too orangey from my shade yeah I, I don't think I'll be able to use this just because it's very orangey and I'm not into these orange pinks but I mean I can blend it in with a darker lip lip liner like I said and maybe see how I like that Another um, lip shade it came with was the Bear With Me liquid lipstick. I've been wanting this lipstick, but at the same time, now that I got it, I feel like it's very, like, angelic. It's very orangey color, but let me swatch it for you. Oh no, it's very pretty. I love Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. If you guys haven't tried them, you guys need it. Like, they're very moussey. As you can see, this is Bear With Me right there. And it's a very pretty pink, pink nude. I also ordered um, from Sally the um, Palladio with Casey Holmes liquid lipsticks. And I know I got a lot of lipsticks in this haul, but I decided to snag them up because I love Casey Holmes. I every collab she comes out with, I always try and grab them. And they're very they're shades that I know I'm gonna use no matter what. So I decided to snag up um, her three liquid lipsticks. It comes with um, Obsessed, which is a very pretty fuchsia color. And I really like this packaging because it doesn't look very cheap. It looks like it is very um she put a lot into it she put Pal palladio and then her signature and then i like how the cap is sh shows like the color it's gonna be so this is a very fuchsia berry color which i think is perfect for summer but even fall and even winter so i think it's a year-round color as long with georgia which i know she mentioned that she decided she wanted georgia because georgia is like very peachy so this is a very peachy color. And then there is Rescue, which is a nude, of course. Which these three shades, if you were to have as a nude for the rest of your life, would be the perfect shade for all year round. Last but not least, I did get um, MAC. The MAC, um, they do, I don't know if you guys know, but MAC does, if you re recycle and take back like five, for example, five settings or six setting spray bottles um, used up or any kind of recycling thing they do give you a look a lipstick bullet for free so i thought it was really neat um i had like i always use setting sprays for everything so i had six of them and i decided to pick up whirl which this is a basic um mac lip product i'm sure everybody has seen it and i'm sure everybody owns it but this is the color let me swatch it guys which this is a very nude of course a nude lipstick right there it looks a lot like 1993 but in lipstick form so this is gonna be the end you guys this is a this was a very huge makeup haul as you guys can see but i did not purchase everything all at once trust me like i have bills to pay too hope you guys enjoyed my video Please give it a big thumbs up. 
like and subscribe and give me suggestions please let me know what you guys would like to see next thank you guys so much for watching